this overview, I will be covering the reseller store v1.7 update. I'll talk about updating the plugin and then importing the dedicated server and DPS products into your WordPress website, how to update to the new website builder, um, what to do with the end of life for the fax through email. We'll also talk about updates to the plugin that include a small change to the add to cart behavior and an update to the domain search. So let's get started. I've logged into my WordPress dashboard and the first thing that I will want to do is update the plugin by coming down here to plugins and finding reseller store in the list. Now if you don't have reseller store already installed, you will want to add the plugin by clicking the button here and searching for reseller store. Since I have the plugin running and I'm on uh, version 1.6 currently, I'll want to update by clicking update now. Now that the plugin is updated, I will want to import the new products. To import the new products, go ahead and click deactivate here. And now this will not remove any of your existing products or changes that you have made. So just simply deactivate the plugin to allow you to reactivate and import. So now that it's been deactivated, let's click activate. And we will see reseller store in the list here. Now I'll go ahead and click on that. And I will need to go ahead and sign in and activate to import the new virtual private server and dedicated server products. So I'll click there, choose my reseller in the list here. This is my reseller for Elastic Data Centers and I will click activate your reseller. After a brief moment, it will import the products and in the list you will see your VPS and dedicated servers. So we'll start with the VPS. I can just click on this to filter the Windows servers, which include an ultimate economy value and deluxe. You also have the Linux servers, which include the similar economy, deluxe, ultimate, and value. as well as the dedicated Windows and the dedicated Linux. We take a look at the dedicated Windows. And dedicated Linux. Now I can click on view to look at the product and the product details. And I have the add to car button here. So the next thing I want to do is update my product catalog for the website builder business. Now what I can do is go ahead and choose website builder here. And I can individually click on a product and then come down to advance and click reset button. And that will go ahead and upgrade. So I have the new website builder product. Alternatively, I can click on Reseller Store and find the website builder and then select those products and from the menu choose Restore Product Data and click Apply. And then the last thing I want to do to um, clean up my product catalog here is with the end of life, the fax or email is I will want to delete those products. You will notice if I select all products here and choose restore product data, you will get an email here saying that fax or email is no longer a valid product and that I will need to remove those.
So let's go ahead and find facts through email on the list here. Select those and then select move to trash and hit apply. Now that those products have been end of life, we can remove those. Now if I have other plugins, it may ask me to, such as the Yoast SEO, it may ask me to go ahead and redirect to another URL so that I can retain the SEO value on those pages. Now that I have a VPS and dedicated server products in my catalog, I will go, want to go ahead and build a page. So let's go ahead and click on pages. And then we can create a new page. In my case, I've already started on a page. And we'll want to add these products to the page. Now I'm using Beaver Builder in this example, but you can use any page builder um, that you like, or you can use short codes. So let's go ahead and put some columns out here. We'll go ahead and add a row for Linux, and a row for Windows, and then we'll add some three columns for the actual individual products. Click modules, text edit, and let's list out Linux plans. Let's choose reseller store modules and add our product. And I am doing VPS, Linux. I'll start with value, deluxe, and economy are the three that I'm going to offer. Now let's go ahead and add our windows. Let's go ahead and click done and publish. And refresh the page. So now I have my Linux plans listed here and my Windows plans. Now I can change these logos here if I want to maybe put the Windows logo on the Windows plans by going back to my dashboard, clicking down on reseller store, and then finding those VPS Windows plans. I'll go ahead and edit the value. If I come down here, there's a product image. That's the default product image that imports with the product. I can remove that. And then set that to, let's say, a Windows logo. Let's go ahead and update. Now let's preview those changes. Now I had updated Linux and that was not my intention. So that's easy to fix if I go back in and edit that Linux product. By simply clicking Edit. And then choosing the reset option. And then that will bring my image back to what it was.
Now let's go ahead and preview that page. And you will see now I have the Windows logos for the Windows plans. The VPS and dedicated products work a little different when clicking Add to Cart. We have changed the behavior on these buttons. So when you click Add to Cart, they will redirect the shopper to a configuration page that lets them choose managed, fully managed, self-managed on the product. So they're able to configure before finalizing their purchase. At which point the product will now be in their cart. So one of the other changes we have made to the plugin is by default now when any shopper clicks on a button, it will take them immediately to the cart. For example, let's go ahead and view website backup and click add to cart. If I don't want that behavior, I can simply edit the post and come down here and check mark this box. It says do not redirect to cart after adding the product. Go ahead and update and preview. Now when I click add to cart, it will leave the shopper on the page and they will have the opportunity to click the button. Another change we have made to the plugin is with the domain search. So if I go to a, my page and I add the domain search widget to my site, And let's go ahead, go ahead and add another product to this same page. We'll just put it up here. And we will say WordPress Ultimate is fine. And let's go ahead and publish that. And refresh. So now what happens here is I have the product that I can add to cart and then I have my domain search. So if I search for a domain, and I have my results here, and I will go ahead and select a couple of these domains. Now I could continue to cart here, but if I choose not to and, and maybe click on either the home button or an add to cart here, the uh, website will now prompt me and saying, hey, changes uh, may not be saved. So the reason this is prompted is because I have domains that I have selected that they are pending to go into the cart. So I can choose to leave or I can cancel and go ahead and add these products back to cart. So the same behavior will happen if I click any of these other links, you will get this message. Now, the web browser Chrome does control the message that gets displayed here. That's not something that can be customized, um, but this does provide the opportunity for the shopper to go ahead and cancel and then continue to cart. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I have the configuration page for the domains. If I want to add privacy, I can do that and continue to cart. Now what does get preserved is I have my domain in here, but I have also added my ultimate managed. So that does come go to the cart along with the domain that I have selected. Including all of the other products I have added along the way too. Okay, this concludes the overview of the reseller plugin version 1.7.0.